Greetings, loyalists, heretics, xenos, and other assorted entities of Warhammer 40k. This is Arndel playing Dawn of War, Dark Crusade, Blood Ravens Campaign, 13th installment. We just barely cleansed the filthy Tau from the spaceport at apparently the cost of my heavy, well, not heavy bolter because it's honestly just, you know, uh, for, at the cost of one of my first company veterans and my senior librarian. Even though they were both alive at the end of the battle, the game for some reason is counting them as dead. Or incapacitated. Whatever. Using up my most of my planetary requisition, I will get them back. Alright. Well, at this junction, Moving on to our next target, I think we'll be heading here, driving the Tau further back, taking the territory right next to my uh, HQ area, for lack of a better term, and uh, you know, getting another first company vet. All right, well, let's hit attack. The honor guard in place. Hi, Penny. Who's your good girl? Oh, she's just plotting the demise of everything on our world. She'll just eat everything one of these days. Yeah, no one's safe from her. Loyalist, loyal, uh, loyalist, heretic, and Zeno. They're all on the menu. Archive. Okay, Panria Lowlands. Bordering on the centers of human and Tau settlements on Cronus, the cities and agri-farms of Panria Lowlands have seen much bloodshed between the two races. Imperial loyalists waged a long guerrilla campaign against the Tau authorities here, and the scars remain quite fresh. Located on the northern fringes of the Temperate Belt, Panria is home to a small-scale farming, large boreal forest, and countless lakes. Winters are long but livable with warm summers making up for the long snow-covered months. It sounds like kind of a pleasant place to live. Hmm. Though I live in Utah, which actually sounds a lot like that. All they had to do put into the weather description was say that it's also bipolar weather, that we don't really have a spring. We have a sprinter and a sprummer, but no spring. And that the best part of fall is Halloween. Oh yeah. And that would have been that would have been an apt description for Utah. <laughs> All right, leaflet distributed in the Panria Lowlands. Beware, Grayskin lies. The Emperor is watching. Men and women of Cronus, never forget that we are sons and daughters of the Holy Terra. Oh, sorry, <clears throat> of Holy Terra, and protected by the Emperor. The Grayskin Xenos tempt us with lies and heresy, but we must resist them. They see us as pets and slaves when they are the alien filth. They laud the benefits of technology when it can only lead to heresy and madness. Will your children remember you with shame as a traitor who kissed the hem of a gray-skinned skirt? Or will they take pride that you stood firm and resisted the subjugation of your world and perversion of your faith? We are the agents of destiny. Our world is under an alien yoke. Will you be chattel or will you be men? Two arms. Thought for the day. A man subjugated to an alien is no man at all. So. It doesn't say if the guerrilla um, warfare is still active at this time. Like if they got wiped out by the Tau. But saying that it didn't say that they were wiped out. So I'm going to believe that they're still alive. Which means that when we come in here and we take this place from the Tau, we are liberating them. So let's go drive some Tau filth off our property. The Emperor's finest oh. reporting. Get you out. Follow me into battle! Boom, boom. Hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. Where's the... Oh, duh. With me, brothers. 
Yes, my lord. Well, actually, you jump up there, take jumping. that. You here to serve. Take that. Where do you need us most? What is your order? Four. Taking heavy fire. Knowledge is power. I did well. What is your will? The Emperor's finest. Report. What would you have me do? Gauge that cog. My you get closer. Do that. Then what is this. Oh, you didn't check the grenade for some reason. Oh, Terra. Uh, get that there. Yes, you ask. There. This. Get your keister over there. And then take that. Followed by that. Man, those upgrades to the Force well, Commander the do make him beasty. Be no Alright, and get another one of these. Well, my first one of those rolling. Uh, you building that. Uh, I want another one of these. Yes, and power generator. On alert, brothers. The enemy must Boom. be nearby. All right, this you engage that. The rest of you game. move into there. Yes, most beneficent and one. You will build that. That is on route. Out. Out. I await your instructions. Here to serve. Yes, Lord. Alright, and do I yes, have all four? No, I don't. One. Get that one in. And everything looks like it's going. Oh, what are you doing? On the road to disappointment. Yes, most beneficent um, one. That is well on its way. Yes, most beneficent one. Ooh. Yes. By my command, attack! Okay. Oh, it's the first you guys can just run there. Oh, yeah. And you, the moment they're in range. Skadoosh! Wah! I will destroy their minds and I burn their bodies. Don't need that. That just got completed. Upgrade that. That just got done. Upgrade it yes, too. And get this one. guy on the As way here. Uh, Heresy grows from idleness. Mission accomplished. Yes, Initializing build protocol. As you guys stop. Would you Force Commander one? first, because he By can take command. a beating. Attack. Okay, green up. Oh, darn. Get them queued up. And Force Commander's now going first, so everyone. Follow me into battle. This will pretty much be mop up at this point. All right, and I'm starting to grow a steady economy. Got up to 80 requisition incoming, and as soon as you're yes, done, Lord. you can head down yes, here. Lord. Yes. All right. What would you have me do? The Emperor's the Emperor finest protects us. The Ordo Malleus has sent us to the Emperor's finest reporting. You wait your command. Well, this will be over soon, but whatever. You always pre prepare for a huge fight coming because space marines are always vigilant. At least if they're real space marines. Plenty of pansy marines out there that don't follow that. Yes, Lord. I shall obey. Did I upgrade? Yes, I did. And that'll be over. Well, now. Ah, it's an invisible dude. Whatever. Stinking Xenos. All right. So we have now liberated the Penria Lowlands, and now hold them in Imperial hands. Oh, that rhymes. Hmm. And that was the only way of the Tau to break out this way, so we're going to be holding this whole section against both the Eldar and the Tau. Now, uh, the Tau do have a direct line. Well, from here, they have a line on the spaceport. 
so the Necrons from there. I'll have to definitely fortify the spaceport because if either one of them decides to hit it, I want to make sure that there's going to be plenty there to stop them. But nobody else does. And the spaceport is, of course, the one thing that allows you to strike behind enemy lines. So I have now secured my lines from direct approach. That's fortified, that's fortified, that's fortified. I fortified that? Huh. I must have done that much earlier in the game. And uh, I will fortify the spaceport. And, of course, the Penria Lowlands as soon as I have the resources. As of this point, though, I do not. Okay, here. Well, we are definitely going to go ahead and call that good for now. Thanks, everyone, very much for watching. If you have any feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, feel free to give it a thumbs down. And if you really like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. In any case, don't get into too much trouble or do. Always up to you. Toodles!